In the third season of the acclaimed Netflix show Orange is the New Black, these incarcerated ladies face a new reality, surviving in a private prison. Shows like this, even the teen soap opera Riverdale or Veep, mention private prisons to demonize them and point out their shortcomings. But what do we really know about private prisons? My research begins with this relatively straightforward premise, and as it turns out, the answer is not much. This is not a process driven by partisanship, Republican states are no more likely to privatize, and it is not a story driven by economics. Cash-strapped states are no more likely to privatize. If these explanations, which are the ones that are most commonly cited by media and journalistic accounts, do not drive this process, then what does? I argue prison privatization is directly driven by increases in inmate litigation over the past four decades. For much of the 20th century, prisoners didn't really have any legal rights to sue state governments. Eventually, Supreme Court decisions gave inmates this right, and they sued a lot. <laughs> States are now facing this mountain of litigation that they had never faced before. It's at the same time that this is happening that the modern private prison industry is born. Two entrepreneurs in the 1980s suggested that they could sell prisons just like you would sell cars or real estate or hamburgers. Eventually, 35 states signed contracts with for-profit companies to build and operate their prisons. And I argue they did this to avoid political and legal accountability. Privatization helps to limit uh, states' legal liability for these lawsuits and also shifts political blame away from the state government onto this private company. I collect uh, an original data set of private prisons over the last four decades to analyze this claim quantitatively and find evidence for this theory. I think this research is incredibly important, right? It has implications outside of political science and in other fields as well. It helps researchers shine a light on an industry that for decades has been shrouded in mystery. And these conclusions are vitally important, not only for the women of Orange is the New Black, for the 1,500 men that sit in a private facility not 100 miles from where we are right now, to the over 120,000 that are incarcerated in private facilities nationwide. Thank you.